Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Today's video is going to be my 2018 favorites. So I'm going to show you some makeup, skincare, hair care, and then just a few like accessory favorites that I've been really loving the past year. So let's just hop right into it. So the first thing is this Derma Blend Professional Cosmetics. It's like a two part thing. So this is a broad spectrum foundation. It has SPF 25 and then this is the loose setting powder that goes with it. So basically I use this on the scar on my neck and it is targeted towards covering up visible veins, tattoos, stretch marks, scars, age spots, birthmarks, and bruises. If you look it up, there's a lot of videos on YouTube of people using it and they cover up like full sleeves of tattoos and stuff. So it works really well. If I take pictures or videos, you can't even tell that I have my scar anymore. And then I use the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder to set it. And you definitely need this. I've tried it without and it just smudges everywhere, like on my clothes and stuff. So you definitely want to use both together, but they work really well. And I definitely recommend them if you guys have anything that you want to cover up and fully cover it. Then my favorite lipstick is this Urban Decay one. It is in the shade Lady Flower and it is a sheer color. And I actually got this at Nordstrom Rack, so it was super cheap. Like normally these are way more money but I got it for like eight dollars it looks great with pretty much every outfit then I have two of my favorite eye products so this is the NYX Vinyl liquid liner and it's really good for like lining your top lashes I'm able to just get a really good eyeliner and wing with it and it's really cheap you can get it at Ulta then my favorite mascara is the Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express one. I get like the blackest black color and it just has a plastic applicator and it makes my lashes look so good. I've tried high-end mascaras, pretty much tons of mascaras and this one I still go back to, it's just the best. Then for blush, I've been loving these ones from Tarte. They are the Amazonian clay ones so they last a really long time and they apply super pigmented so I really like this shade here that is Icon. I like Montage a lot and then I like this one here Culture. Those are the three that I use the most and so obviously I have like this big palette but you can buy them separately also and these two here are just like mauve I feel like more natural deeper colors and then this one here has a pink and it has some shimmer in it. Next I have a couple of hair care items. So this here is a Dove Dermascalp Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. It smells really good and it is the soothing moisture one because obviously if you're having dandruff and a dry itchy scalp you're having a dry scalp. It does have a lot of ingredients in it and it has sodium lauryl sulfate in it which isn't a very good ingredient but it works. I've tried head and shoulders. I've tried a lot of different dandruff shampoos for like a dry itchy scalp and they don't work uh, for me anyways, but this one does and ooh, well, I just dropped it, but <laughs> good thing it didn't open up. I've been using this pretty much every time I shower lately and it's definitely making a difference. Then I have this new image hypoallergenic hairspray and this holds my curls so well and it doesn't smell because I find the smell of hairspray, I, I just can't do it. A lot of them, like the big sexy hairline and all of those keep my hair like looking so good but I cannot stand the smell it gives me a runny stuffy nose but this one works really good and it is from Sally's Beauty Supply and I have this oil here it is a whole blend smoothing oil for your hair and so it has coconut oil and cocoa butter extracts this I will use on my hair while it is damp or when it's dry so Sometimes I'll use it as a detangler, so I'll put it in after the shower and then brush my hair out, or I'll also use it back before I got my hair cut. My hair was super dry and damaged from when they put highlights throughout my hair, and this made a big difference. I put it on at night, so maybe just one or two pumps, and then I'd braid my hair and go to bed, and it would absorb into my hair, and it wouldn't weigh it down too much or make it look greasy. The next thing, the container is super greasy <laughs> and gross right now, but it is the Vito Coco Coconut Oil, and this is a 100% organic, virgin, cold pressed, and unrefined coconut oil. So it is hardened in there because I live in an area that's cold, and then you can just scrape it out with your fingers or a spoon, whatever you want, 
and it will turn into an oil when you rub it in your hands and this is perfect to put all over your hair as a hair mask so I will generally do this a day where I'm just gonna hang out at home I will put it in my hair in the morning and just do some errands things around the house and then I will wash it out and it really just gives you a lot of moisture and makes your hair look super good another thing is this hair tool so it is the Numi curling wand and it has the bigger barrel so there's a lot of different size curling wands but this is the bigger one and I really like this for just getting loose waves and curls it works good even with my shorter hair too so I definitely recommend this they'd sent me this years ago and it's still working just as good as back then and I really enjoy it and I actually skipped this item but it is the Ovino ultra calming hydrating gel cleanser I used to use foaming ones but foaming cleansers are actually super drying so this one works really well it is fragrance free and has calming fever few and nourishing oats then for accessories I've been loving this black Kate Spade bag I have a lot of purses I collect them but I keep going back to this one I think just because it's a simple black color I like the bow on it and the little detailing here it's like a bucket bag so it just opens up I like purses that have something special or different about them so the bow just makes it interesting to me and then it has this long crossbody strap and it holds a ton of stuff in it so it's really convenient for me and goes with pretty much any outfit then these earrings I wear pretty much every day they are the sparkle ball earrings from Hilberg and Burke which is kind of expensive they're like 50 60 dollars for one pair but they are great like I always get compliments on them that's my only pair but they are so good then the last category that I thought I would include would be music just because I have three favorites this year the first is the Taylor Swift reputation CD I love that album I think her voice is amazing I got to see her this summer which is also probably why I love it so much then the second one is a star is born soundtrack so if you haven't seen that movie you should see it but the CD is so good I always listen to it in my car and I do skip over the Bradley Cooper songs just because rock and like that style isn't really my favorite but the Lady Gaga songs are amazing seriously she has such a good bomb voice that if you haven't listened to the music on that CD definitely check it out and then the last thing is another soundtrack it is the greatest showman one and that CD is also just really good the vocals are really good and there's just a variety of songs on there all three of those I listen to in my car and I just switch them out every once in a while so that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one bye